welcome back to another part of the Anderson Legacy. Today we are going to continue with the, the fifth part of the Anderson Legacy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and enjoy my content. I obviously love a variety of games, not only The Sims, so I hope you join me in this journey of the many games that I play. Anyway, let's get started. I will be right back when the game starts. Alright, in the last episode, we stayed at the elixir shop reading a book. So it looks like Olivia wants to... Excuse me. Olivia wants to play tag with this little girl she found at the elixir shop. Olivia loves kids. If there's one thing about Olivia is that she wishes to become a mother. But she don't know if that's her calling. So. <laughs> She's already tired. Me. After like two minutes of exercise. She's like, come on, Grandma. That's so cute. I can't wait till Olivia has a <clears throat> So inside the elixir shop, there is this tiny little baby, Philip McDuff. And I suppose these are his sisters. Because she's a teenager. Faith McDuff and the little girl that I am playing tag with. She's part of the same family. Her name is Felicia McDuff, I believe. Me. Felicity McDuff. Yeah, they're part of the same family. Alright, so as much fun as I am having with little Miss Felicity, I feel like it's time to head home. Alright, that was fun. Now let's get going. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop by at the bookstore and get a gardening book. Alright, Felicity, that was fun. But I gotta go. I don't even think you can play tag in any other sim game. Oh yeah, you can in the number two, in the Sims 2. Alright, well this is our stuff and we can't go in there with her. I don't mind that. Okay, let's see. It's a skill book. Let's look for gardening. Volume. Oh my god, I don't know how much money. <gasps> it's so expensive. Girl, are you gonna have to start picking flowers? Let's look around this part of town. See if there's anything we can find to sell. You always find things. There's me. There's something right here. Let's pick it up and see what it is. Maybe we can sell it and make some money. Can't get them? Okay. Let's keep looking. Do 
What does it mean the other one here? Oh, it's a little Valeria whatever seat that I already have. Oh lord. Is this someone's garden? Sheesh. I am gonna take some of your veggies. Don't hate me, please. Don't regrow, I promise. I can't get any tomatoes. No lettuce either. Let's harvest these. Let's harvest these. I like this house. I like this little plot of land. This is perfect to for crops and a, or a horse. I want a horse. So she's over here being a little thief. It's okay, they'll regrow. That's the beauty of plants, they always regrow. Come on, sister, before they catch you. Oh my gosh, she's getting soaked. She is sleepy, she has to use the bathroom. She's getting stinky, and she's getting a little hungry. So it is officially a full moon. Let's see, what was it when she put that? We'll plant it anyway. We don't know what it is, but we'll plant it. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward this because this is very, very long. Did she do them all? Oh no, he's gonna scream at me! Uh, oh no, he invited me inside! Oh, he's so sweet! Oh, and I'm over here stealing your fruits and veggies and stuff. Oh, you are so kind, who are you? <laughs> Let me compliment Deborah your home. We'll be glad. Blitzergam. Diana. Be I'm gonna call when you're home again because it's. Oh, <laughs> no. I feel horrible. Let's ask about his career. Let's brighten his day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Never. Hey, he did what? Let's try it. I don't know why I'm gonna feel so bad. Because he was so nice to me. Observe Zorks. Mm -hmm. She's like, I love the sun. Zorka? This rain is just not for me. Hey, where are you going? Nerfly. What happened? <laughs> A movie. We became friends. Oh, oh. we close up. <laughs> he is so nice and I feel so bad. What was I able to harvest? Just the onions? Oh no, we're gonna have to go back. Wait, he has more back here. What is this? Oh, these are the grapevines, but this one actually has some. Okay, so we're gonna go harvest the grapes. He even has watermelons. Alright, I already have onions. Oh no, that's garlic. Looks like we're getting no sleep, and we're stinky, and we have to go get that stuff so we can go home. Go, go, go! You can do this. 
Not all of them, sister. Oh yeah, not not all of them. Oh, oh my god! What in the oh, oh hell no, you're not beating me to these. I'm I got here first, brother. I'm stealing these veggies first. Come on, Olivia, before he fucks all the veggies up. Ah! so stinky come on you can do this come on come on come on all right let's go home we'll come back where do you all right right here okay <laughs> that Freaking zombie scared me. <laughs> that crap popped out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, so she is in a terrible, terrible state. She is stinky. And she is starving. So we're gonna call up. <gasps> no, we're not gonna call nobody up. I was gonna say we're gonna call up a pizza, but <laughs> it's late. Just have some cereal. I need to do something about my plants because when zombies appear, they will destroy my plant, and that is something I do not want. Ugh. Okay, your hunger can wait three seconds. Come on, Olivia, before you pass out. I know, I'm tired too. Just quick, 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 quick water. A quick water. Oh, fine. It'll probably be dead by tomorrow, but... <sighs> Anyways... I forgot zombies pop up. Oh no, my glass! <gasps> no, you dirt bag. No. <laughs> oh, I have to do something about it. She's such a bit. <gasps> My heart is broken. What a meanie! I wonder what you can do about that. Like, how can you avoid the zombies getting into your things? Like, would making a fence work? I don't want to make my garden and then the zombies coming every full moon and destroying everything. Okay, have a cereal, sister, because we have a lot of work to do today. Pronto, pronto. Alright, so our mood is drastically going up. Thanks to... <gasps> no, it's dead! Oh, I hate that zombie. I have to figure out a way to prevent the zombies coming into my garden. Um, oh, that stinks. But I guess it's part of the game. 
But I wish I could avoid it, though, because it just ruins everything. Ugh, okay. So, we're just gonna try to figure out a way to keep the zombies out of our garden. For now, I am going to sell the apples that I can spare. So I'm just gonna leave like two apples so I could plant in case my plants get eaten by zombies again. I'm gonna sell that one. Ooh, I'm gonna make quite a bit of money for all these garlic that I didn't mean to take. I just meant to harvest like one or two from my friend. But he was still so kind enough to let us come inside his house after we were stealing all of his grapes and all of his garlic and tomatoes. And oh, He's so kind. That's why I knew he was going to be a good friend. Okay, no, no eating them. I'm gonna have to look up how to keep those zombies from taking all of my plants or eating all of my plants when it's a full moon because that's gonna stink if I work hard on planting my my stuff and zombies come and just take them. I wonder if there's planters like a, to plant your stuff in. Like, let's see. I don't remember. I know there's some in The Sims 4, but. I just really don't recall if there's planter like to plant pots in this game. I don't seem to see any. Or if there are any, I, I don't know where I would get them from. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave that for some other time that I look it up because I can't seem to find where they would even be at, but Anyways, for now it's just, we're going to have to deal with that, with the zombies taking the plants if they come. Alright. Well, my crap broke. Six hours later. So my toilet broke. It's really dirty and my house in general is very dirty. So, we're going to attempt to unclog it and clean around the house a little bit because everything just seems so grimy. I love this. <laughs> Look at her. Lending away, getting her shoes all wet. That's funny. So I'm still trying to figure out what to do about my garden. I don't know if I should just... I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, I want... When's the next... It's going to be nine days. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could find plant pots. But there is some because a planter bowl. But where are they? They wouldn't be in decor, would they? Oh, yes, they are. What in the world? Hmm. Okay. 
So maybe if I put them inside, that can prevent the zombies from. Unless the zombies will appear inside my house too. Just until I can build like a greenhouse or something like that. I think that might work. Alright, let's do that. Can we get, oh, yeah, we got one more. Mm, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should separate them a little bit at least. Like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I would have never thought it would have been in decor. Honestly. So what can we get in the lifetime rewards? Hmm. Not very much. I'm going to save them up a little bit more and then we'll see what we can get when we get more. Okay, you still have to clean this, sister. And then we're going to plant... Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, it's my bestie. French Timbley. Timbley, I think. Would like to chat. Does Olivia Anderson want to talk? Sure. <laughs> he was kind enough Neville to let me steal some of his... Veggies, so can I not do that? It's gonna break my heart if I can't do that. Oh no! Somebody guide me through this. Let's see. Maybe I need to plant them outside and then move. Oh wait, move them inside? Can I move this one inside? No, it's too big. Regardless. Oh no, I think you gotta plant them outside and then bring them in here. Alright, looks like that's what I'll do. I still have to get my motorcycle and my wild horse. How expensive are the motorcycles? I bet they're really expensive. Oof. I barely have enough for a parking space. Where are the motorcycles at? Are there even any motorcycles? Yeah, right here. Yikes. Is there no more? Oh, there it is. Wow. Yeah, it looks like she's not gonna have a motorcycle anytime soon. So I guess we'll just take care of these. <gasps> what? It is not dead. <laughs> it's mature. Whatever. I just realized that I probably wasted a lot of money on all this plant stuff, so maybe it would be a good idea to get rid of some. Maybe just three and three for now. That's a lot of money. 
All right, we're silly like that. Regardless, it's still a lot of money. Okay. So, Olivia, you are going to... Wait, you already surpassed level one of logic. Maybe you can read a little more. And we are going to order a pizza. Just because I don't feel like cooking today. And it is a Sunday. Usually Sundays are eating out days. At least in my family. Saturdays or Sundays, it's an eating out day. So we're going to let her read a little bit of her logic book. Since we really don't have a television to entertain us with anymore. We're oh, is that a puppy out there? That is so cute. I love it. It looks like a little bear. Oh, can we be friends, Ben? Oh, I love him. Okay, drop everything you're doing. I wonder if he belongs to anybody. Wait up, Ben. I said pizza. Oh, I could probably collect these and sell them for money. Oh, oh you're stray, Ben. I used to have a dog like this, but it was a puppy. It looked a lot like this, too. It looked like a little bear. But I already had a chihuahua, and the chihuahua was mean, so I had to get rid of the puppy. So we sold it. But it was so cute, and I loved it. Oh, you're so cute. He's following me now. Oh no, he's not. He's leaving. So. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. Let's sell these ladybugs. I don't see the point of all you guys. And also the university welcome kit. I won't get any more newspaper, but I'll still sell it. What about these? Herb. Oh. I love him. Oh, I want a dog. Oh. He's a lot nicer than the horses, at least. Oh, my pizza. Here we go. Oh. Right, we gotta go, puppy. Oh. 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 nice meeting you. You're so cute and you're so friendly. And I just wanna adopt you. Look at him, he's so cute. He's like a baby bear. I'm sorry, I've spent a lot of time talking about the dog. But I love it. What are they doing over here? They're reading. And 
and she's enjoying her pizza now. What does yellow mean? Which? Well, she's the... Those are probably the kids of the weird guy from the beginning. What was his name? Neil or... What was it? I forgot. That's probably his kids. Oh, okay. So, unfortunately, I don't quite remember how to adopt strays here, so... I couldn't adopt the puppy, but that's okay. Regardless, I feel like at the moment we don't have time for a dog. Like in real life, I don't... I love animals, but we really don't have time for them. We had already, ad not adopted, but we brought home a puppy that my sister's dog had kind of like a trial run to see how we would do with a puppy it was a tiny puppy to begin with you know the mama was not wanting them she would not want to feed them she would just run away from them she didn't want the puppies so we brought one home and we would like feed it milk with a little bottle but it would just cry and cry and cry and cry and in the end, I was just came to the realization that we were not responsible enough to take care of a puppy like that. Like, we had a lot going on, and surely enough, a little bit after, I found out I was pregnant. So, it would have been extremely hard to deal with a newborn and to deal with a dog. And dogs need so much attention. I didn't want to be that person or that owner that brought a dog home and then just left it in the backyard because it was a big dog. It was Rottweiler. So we gave it back to my sister and she found a home for all, for all her puppies. I thought I was ready for a puppy, but no. And I'm glad I made that decision. Like Now that I look back on it, I'm like, Thank you, because I would not have been able to care for that puppy, my son, my daughter. It would have been too hard. Alright, anyway, so the Fall Festival has made its way to town, setting up just in time to get everyone in the mood for Spooky Day. Don your best costume and come celebrate with us, won't you? Try your luck. The pie eating contest, the apple bobbing tank. Oh, wait. If competition doesn't strike your fancy, grab a city slickers potion and watch from the sidelines. A trip through the haunted house may just leave you a changed sim. Literally. Cap it all off with a stroll through the pumpkin patch to pick yourself out a craven pumpkin fresh from the farm. Ooh, we're going to do that. It'll probably be next episode, though. Alright, so we're going to let Olivia go to work, make her moolah, and then come back. And we'll see what we can do. Black Market Gnomes. This just in... There's a well-established gnome smuggling ring, and they are meeting at the business office. Get there quickly to listen in and gather intelligence so that the criminals can be brought to justice. This could be a career-boosting move for you if everything goes well. Hmm. Let's do it. We're just gonna go do this quick little job, side job she has to do. And we're probably gonna cut the episode here. So let's just go do that.
So she made $239. It says, Congratulations! Olivia's impressive performance has earned her a promotion to desk jockey, as well as a bonus of $480. Every case comes with a mountain of paperwork, and the surgeon will need some fresh coffee. Tend to the files and learn to wipe a whittle a stapler as a desk jockey. Tend to the files and learn to whittle a stapler as a desk jockey. And the lieutenant may see about getting you a position that features a little more action. Olivia now makes $47 per hour and works from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Good job, man. Olivia Anderson just earned a promotion at work. She'll always remember the proud day that her hard work was recognized. It is pouring. I feel like it's always pouring in this town. It reminds me of, um... What was the name of that town in Twilight? I'm trying so hard to remember. I was a Twilight dork. Like, I love Twilight. I, I have every movie, actually. Not had, have. Every single Twilight movie. And I don't have my posters anymore. <laughs> but, oh, Forks. Forks, right? Forks, yeah. The town is called Forks. <sighs> That's one thing I wish I could relive. Watching the movies at the movie theater. That was such an exciting... Because I read the books beforehand, so watching the movie was like so exciting. Watching the characters come to like life. Those were the days. Where we worried about... Things like that instead of coronavirus. Alright, so Olivia got her work task done and all she has to do is go to work to complete it. But that will be in the next episode because I am cutting it short here. Thank you so much for watching. I love making these videos. I am very thankful for anybody that watches. Playing The Sims is my absolute favorite thing to do. And I enjoy it. And I hope you too. See you next time. Peace.